This lecture, eight is, uh, is about the cherub, cherub, who is the highest angel. Okay. Uh, as I told you previously, uh, the two cherubims were located on the mercy seat. Do you remember that? That tells us that in the throne of God, God put two cherubims inside of very near to them. Okay. Uh, they, 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 they were located uh, on the mercy seat as we learned that. On the mercy seat. Okay. Here, Exodus 25, 21, and Hebrews 9, 5. Okay. Now, in the previous lecture, I told them uh, they were uh, the three elements. Uh, the Ark of Covenant has three elements, remember? First is Ark, and number two is uh, three elements, remember that? And Mercy Seat, number three. So on the Mercy Seat, two cherubims uh, sit and facing each other. And covering uh, with in with their wings, covering the mercy seat. Okay. Now, here. So we we studied that that location is the throne of God. We already studied that. Now, now between those. Two cherubims. One cherubim <clears throat> is called, Bible calls, the morning, son of morning star. Son of morning star. Isaiah 14, 12. But some Bible translators including King James Bible, translated the Son of Morning Star, Lucifer. The Lucifer, okay? That is the starting, the Lucifer name was invented by that Bible translator, Lucifer. Also that Lucifer in Ezekiel 28, 14 calls the Covering cherub, covering cherub. Now you know meaning why covering, okay? The covering cherub means a very high position near the Trinity God. Covering with their wings. But now, now here, but... How, how about the, the other cherub? The other cherub. Okay? So, we do not know. We do not, we do not, we do not know about the other, about other, the other, the other cherub. Bible has never mentioned okay, about the other cherub. But Bible stressed on that fallen Lucifer. The Lucifer story. But make sure at least there are two cherubims on the top of the mercy seat which I told you many times here. So we don't know 
anything about other cherub. When people ask you, just tell them we don't know. But the Bible has never mentioned on that cherub. Okay. Now over here, uh, Ezekiel, Ezekiel saw the cherub in his vision. Okay. The Ezekiel described Ezekiel chapter 10, verse 8 and verse 14. Ezekiel described that cherub, okay, has four faces, four faces. Ezekiel said, when he said, first face looks like a cherub, and said, it looks like a man, also lion and eagle is a four facet. Four angles. So when you say, oh, cherub look, it looks like this four. Cherub like, man like, lion like, eagle like, four facet, four angles looking, then, oh, that must be who? Cherub. Okay? The, what cherub in particular here? Lucifer. Okay. But also cherubims are remaining, you know, lower level cherubims. We assume that have four facets of face like that. Cherubims looking. Their appearance. Not much detail on uh, their appearance beside Ezekiel. Okay. Are you okay? Only Ezekiel chapter 10. Now, here, here also Ezekiel chapter 28, verses 12 to 13. Ezekiel was a special, special servant of God who, who saw, oh, okay, Lucifer and fallen Lucifer. Who, is, who saw that? We will study it next time, next to next time. Now, Ezekiel saw this Lucifer, fallen Lucifer, before the fall. He said this in Ezekiel 28, verses 12 to 13. He said that you, Lucifer, you, cherub, you have a full of wisdom. See, very smart, intellectual, and wisdomful being. Okay? As opposed to other other uh, angels. This angel was very much smart, intellectual, and wisdomful. God has given him such privilege and gift. Not only that, perfect beauty. He was is a man, okay? He was a male. He was a beautiful, very handsome. No comparison uh, with other angels. The very handsome, uh, intellectual, wise cherub. Not only that, it covered with very precious stones, decorated. Okay, decorated with precious stones. Not only that, he was highly talented in music. So God has given him all kinds of musical instrument which he can 
play with. So he was originally a musician. He's a good looking, smart, intellectual, also good in music. Okay? We cannot see more than that. Is almost perfect in his behavior, in his wisdom, in his beauty, everything perfect. That's why God allowed him to stay with him in the throne of throne of God. No defect at all. Okay? No shortage in every area. In every aspect. He was a perfect being in every aspect. He was Ezekiel saw that. No wonder why he was arrogant later because of this privilege that provided by God. This is the nature of common nature of creature. See? Creatures, when you are highly esteemed, highly respected, and you have honored all kinds of honors and respect, then naturally you will fall down. You will be arrogant. Because this particular cherub tempted by himself that I am very well known, powerful, beauty, perfect in every aspect, I want to be equal with the Creator God. That was a temptation that he had. That's a normal creature's tendency. When you are in high position, you will be, without knowing yourself, that you will be arrogant. That shows us. Therefore, God for knew all this, so any God faithful servant, he would not give such a glorious position. Always make him humble. Okay? So you as a servant of God, always put God will put you in a low position, an unknown position, humble position. That is the one of the signs of God's blessings. Okay, now, the second highest angel group, as we've seen previous lectures here, Seraph and Seraphim. Okay, now here, Isaiah saw when he visited the throne, Isaiah saw Sherab and Sherabim. Chapter 6, 1 and 2. When, now, when Isaiah saw, and even John saw here, John, okay, in John, in, in Revelation, he saw Sherab appearance is a bit different from cherub appearance. Okay? Cherub appearance was described right here. Cherub face, man face, lion face, and eagle face. But when John saw Revelation 1.9 and Revelation 4.7, he saw, okay, even Ezekiel later in chapter 10, he saw that he saw this sheriff face has four faces, but different, different looking, different here. Yeah. Man looking, lion looking, eagle looking, but one difference is oxen looking. Over there is a cherub looking. Instead of cherub looking, okay, sheriff has what? Oxen 
That, that's the difference. Can you see the difference? Okay. So, we just say, oh, four faces with the oxen looking, then, then must be Sherab, Sherabim. Okay? And as opposed to other part, cherub looking, man, lion, eagle looking, then cherubim, cherubim, cherubim. Cherubims, as oxen is there. Oxen. That makes, makes a difference uh, in terms of, in terms of distinguishing between these two groups. That is my understanding. Okay? That's the maximum discovery that I could find out of the biblical teachings. I just want to share with you for your better understanding. Okay? So keep that in your Keep all this information, biblical information within yourself. When people would ask you as a leader, then please answer with all these informations that I have given to you for his glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.